Hi there again. This is uh, Mojo Dallas, and I'm here to talk about uh, the latest sprint for the Poser on Real Portal. Uh, this is Sprint 2.1, so this is the first sprint in version 2. Uh, this sprint was uh, all about uh, morphing, and I ha had wanted for a long time to to have some of the power you have in Poser for with all the uh, uh, dials and uh, to be able to change the parameters on the uh, on the uh, figure and also in the uh, clothes to be able to reshape it, you know, for example, put expressions on on uh, your character to be able to change what your character looks like, morph them into a different looking person, uh, and make them a bigger nose, smaller eyes, uh, that sort of thing, make them muscular, make them uh, fat. Uh, the uh, other thing is I also wanted to be able to work with clothes uh, because of the, the problem you have with uh, when your clothes are in a separate layer of, uh, from your character, just like it is in this game as well as it is in Poser, you have a lot of what are called poke-throughs, which is, you know, the clothes don't uh, really fit, and they're too tight, and, and therefore you start seeing the underlying layers coming through, whether it be a person or, for example, you'll see here, uh, pants sticking through the uh, shirt. So. I wanted to be able to do that. You could do it in Poser, <coughs> but my first version I loaded up here, I didn't have it. So what I did to start with is I, uh, I re-imported uh, the Ryan figure, and I re-imported it this time, except uh, rather than baking morphs, which which you normally would do, or maybe like picking a morph or two to bring across, I brought across all the morphs, uh, which worked. Uh, it uh, took a while. It took, oh, about four or five hours uh, for the import to stop or to finally finish running on Unreal, but it imported all the morphs, uh, so I was quite pleased with that, even though it took a long time. It, uh, and what it was doing was basically, you know, uh, when the morph was uh, is is uh, taking uh, certain vertexes on the uh, 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 model, uh, the mesh, for example, the character mesh, and being able to move them. Uh, uh, based on uh, uh, a uh, per changing of parameters associated with that to move it, like make the nose, like I said, bigger or smaller or whatever. So, so it had to go ahead and bring in all that uh, data uh, to knowing which which uh, uh, vertexes to be able to move for a given morph and how much you should be able to uh, actually morph it. So anyway, I brought all those in, and, and then I also brought in uh, for the clothes the same sort of thing. I brought in the clothes and loaded it with uh, uh, with all the morphs, which took a little bit less time because there wasn't as many morphs. I did have to change some things in the clothes. Uh, on the clothes, uh, they're loaded in Poser, uh, and they use the same morph name uh, for um, many morphs. Uh, that they're really uh, they'll have a thing like stock in. It'll it'll, it'll go apply against four or five uh, um, parts of the, the shirt. Uh, that won't work with this, uh, with Unreal. They have to be unique morph names. So uh, I, I went ahead and in a poser and uh, just changed the parameter names or the, the morph names inside of poser to a, a unique name by putting the, the, uh, the part of the body uh, after the, the, the morph name. So for example, uh, stocky hip or stocky chest, for example. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and write a, a, a poser, uh, inside a poser, write a, a, a Python script to go ahead and automate all that. I did the first one, though, by hand, uh, just to make sure it didn't. It took me about uh, about 40 minutes to, to change those for, for one uh, clothing item. But again, I'll go ahead and write something that'll do it automatically. You just click the, uh, the Python script, and it, uh, it applies it. So let's go ahead, and I'll bring in Ryan again. And it's just Ryan, as you see here, and I want to show you a couple things here just so we get started. <coughs> we'll look at Ryan, and uh, you can see Ryan uh, looks pretty surly, or if not surly, at least a uh, pretty neutral face. Uh, and the other thing you'll notice about Ryan that we're going to change is his shirt doesn't fit. His shirt is too narrow along the hips uh, there, and uh, too narrow in the front of, of the hips and the sides. So if I go ahead... Uh, how I decided to implement it was over here off the expressions menu, I, I, or, or the menu item, I decided it's expressions and morphs, really. Um, I, you click on it, and now the first uh, item on, on the expressions morph for every character will be something called edit morphs. And if you click the E to edit it, 
it brings up the lists of morphs. Now, this is on the figure, so these are all the morphs associated with the figure. And there are, you know, literally dozens of them. Uh, so I brought them, brought them all in. And I'm just going to apply an expression. I could, ex I could just make the hips bigger and, uh, or uh, apply a stocky or something like that. But um, I just want to change his, his uh, face on this one. And I could do, like, na nostrils flare right, but, you know, it would be pretty tough to see that without zooming in on the character. But if I apply a bigger expression like laugh, you'll be able to see it take place. There he is. He's laughing. Uh, so now he's done that. Now I want to go ahead and fix the uh, clothes. So how you do that is, is here. I can see that this menu needs to be brought down just a hair. But anyway, you can still see the fact that it says figure. And if I, it's a drop down. So if I click on the drop down, you can select the different uh, parts of clothing. So I'll do shirt. And you'll see the morphs all changed. So these are uh, associated, morphs associated with the shirt. And I know that I need to go ahead and make the hip, a little st the stocky hip. See, see how that brought out the hip in there? And I also didn't fix this part. So if I bring the, if I bring the waist out a little bit, stocky waist, it will fix that. Eh, it went a little bit maybe too far. It made it a little too... So... And, and, and I could go ahead and, and you know and fine tune that if I want, but I just want to show I fixed the shirt, and I have fixed the uh, you know I put a new expression on on him. So I'm going to go ahead and, and you can save it. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to call him uh, you know well, let's go call him something like laugh yeah. Brian. And just save him, and we'll we'll see what happens here. I'll go ahead and close the menu. Uh, in figures now, if I go look, Laugh Ryan has been added. So let's just go see that it really worked. Let's just reload Ryan again. This is that original Ryan again, and he is again no smile on this guy, and his shirt doesn't fit. But then if I go ahead and look at <coughs> Laugh Ryan, the morph figure I just did, oh shirt fits. And he's smiling. Now, so that's how you go ahead and, fi and fix it and apply the morphs to, to the different pieces of uh, clothing, to the hair, to, to the character itself. Uh, a lot like Poser. Uh, in fact, it's the same exact morphs as in Poser. So, got a lot of the same power there. Uh, the, the other thing we want to do here is this doesn't save it. You know, if I got out of the game around and exited, it doesn't save it, you know, automatically. I may add that as a feature later. But... But what, it, what you do right now is you go ahead and you just save the game. So if I go ahead and save Laffer, let's go ahead and uh, I'll just call him Laffer. Save a game called Laffer. Uh, now if I exit the game, I'm going to go ahead and exit, exit the game. And I am going to go back in and play the game. Okay, so now it launched the default game. If I go down here in the default game, you won't see that extra laughing Ryan, but keep your fingers crossed. If I go ahead and I load Laffer, we will uh, see laughing Ryan, and I can bring him in, and there he is, fixed shirt, and he's laughing. So. The features are all in the in the game now for morphing, morphing the character, morphing the clothes. I uh, have a lot of loading. I'm reload everything with all the morphs, but uh, uh, it was a real good progress. Uh, I'll be going. Uh, I'm cutting this uh, sprint off uh, short by a week because I'll be out of town this next week uh, visiting the family. So I'll be back in uh, three weeks with an update uh, uh, again on the game, uh, making good progress. Uh, thanks for tuning in.